All right, let's add our lights now. Clean my brush, pull the mineral spirits out of my brush. I will start with the light of my lime. I can see by the pile, it's probably gonna be a little too dark. So I'm adding a tick of yellow to it to adjust that color a little bit. Still to um, kind of kind of neon looking green, so I'm gonna adjust it. I'm adding a little bit more yellow. And I wanna neutralize it just a little bit, so a little tick of red and blue, a really little tick. Here's the light of my lime, cleaning my brush, pulling the mineral spirits out of it, going into the light of my lemon. Wow, that is bright. I want to neutralize it a little bit. I'm adding a little bit of white and a little bit of orange, just a tick. light of my lemon. So I'm going to my teapot. There's light across the top of this handle. This whole front piece is in light. The light's not really hitting the top of that pot very much. It's really actually fairly dark. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more of my shadow color back out of here. It's really not receiving very much light. So put that in there. And then the spout has light coming from the bottom. Right, now the light of my carrot. Carrots are, you know, they're not really a smooth surface, but you don't really, you don't wanna put like every line in there. That's so not important at this point. All that's important are the colors that you've mixed, the value of that color. Is it the right hue? Is it close to it? That's what we wanna see. I'm gonna add a couple more things to this little bottle situation we have going on over here. I'm really just looking. It's uh, bottles, when you paint glass, it's, I mean, light and shadow is important, but you really just have to look. You have to really look <laughs> at what you see, not what you think it should look like. So I had mixed up this really dark color. I'd added a little bit of white to it and it gave me this awesome little purple. And I think that actually might, it's kind of a grayish purple. It needs a little more light. That might work pretty well in this bottle on the edges. Sort of reflecting what's on the, reflecting the, the white backdrop that I used. There's a really light spot on the neck there. Dark cap. 
and then the top of the cap. That's, that'll do, that'll do for now. Uh, so now we have um, the light of the background. So I'll put the light of the background in, which is this sort of soft, soft, ooh, that's too bright, it's too bright. So I'm gonna add a little tick of orange to it to give it a little bit less like, ah, you know, that. <laughs> And I'm gonna cut in around my big shapes. I missed a little piece of cast shadow off the lemon, so I'm gonna leave that spot for me to fill that in. So many painters will say, I wanna learn how to be looser. And the trick to learning how to be looser is to learning these basics, that you can block in a painting like this in just a couple of steps. Then if you can do that, then you can decide where you wanna noodle around, what you wanna refine, what you wanna bring the eye toward, how do you wanna lead people through your painting. That, that all comes up and then, you know, coming up, we'll, we'll get to like really, getting to the finish of a painting, but this is the start of a solid painting. There you go. That's it, that is this exercise. 